Please, sir, the flood is gonna be here any minute. We must get to safety right now. This is the safe house, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's an entrance fee though. You got it with you or what? An entrance fee? To a safe house? Are you serious? If you can't afford it, then leave, all right? All right, fine. I'll do whatever it takes to keep my family safe. How much per person? It's 500 a piece, all right? Now hand over the money. That's so expensive. We don't have that type of money. Then you don't have that type of safety. Now get out of here. Get out of my face. I gotta go inside. All right, guys. We've got to find somewhere else to stay. What is that noise? No, no. Mom, Dad. No! You heard what we said. Hand over all your money. Yeah, dude, you heard us. We want everything that you got. Guys, please, well, what I have, it's, it's not much, okay? I don't care what you have, all right? I want it. Ugh, this really isn't much money. What a waste of time. Yay, yeah, let's get out of here, dude. No, please, come back. That, that's mine. Oh, man, are you serious? Why does this always happen to me? This, this isn't fair. If only you guys were still here. It's been 10 years since all this happened. Now look at me. Still poor and trying to balance a minimum wage job. All you guys did was, was try to be there for me and care. Even if that meant hiding the fact that you guys were poor from me. I can't keep going through this. I want a better life for myself. All right, time to start making a change. Ah, Jim, why aren't you working? Uh, well, well, sir, I just got here and my shift doesn't start for another five minutes. Yeah, well, if you're early, you're late. I'm sorry, I'll start working right now. Are you talking back to me? What? No, no, I'm not. Good, good. Now you gotta shut up and listen. Mr. Green's got the blue car out there and you gotta go fix the brakes. And then when you're done, you're gonna break the taillight. Wait, what? Why would I break the taillight? We're supposed to be fixing their cars. Because if you break it, then he's gotta come back and we make more money. That's why. But, but sir. Quit asking questions and go do your job or you're gonna lose it. Now get out of my face. I don't really feel good about this. What he wants me to do, it's not right. Jim, are you all right? I heard Chris losing his mind just now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm used to it. Yeah, that guy is insane. If we're not making him money every second we're in this building, he loses it. Yeah, it's just tough to see people like that make all that money when we're barely getting any of it. I mean, he literally pays us nothing. I know, I feel like I struggle every single month. I'm sick of it, and I don't want to put up with it anymore. Yeah, I mean, sadly, there's nothing that we can really do. It's either this or, you know, we're out on the streets. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I think I see Chris coming. I gotta look busy. Oh, man, Mr. Green didn't look so happy when he got his car back. Wait, what? Why is everyone outside? Looks like everyone's freaking out. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We lost our house! I gotta go find the landlord. Hey, what's going on? These are our apartments. Yeah, not anymore, they're not. Wait, what? What are you talking about they're not? All of us live in there. Got a call from the city. They want to build a stadium here, so I sold it to them. <laughs> and you didn't let us know in advance? There's other people that live in here. There's families. They're all going to be out on the streets now because of this. All of that sounds like your problem, not mine. I'm no longer the landlord here. <laughs> so what, because you want to be on a yacht? That means all of us are homeless now? What's wrong with you? Absolutely nothing. I'm rich. <laughs> now you have 10 minutes to go inside and get your things. I think this is everything. This is everything I need at least. I have to get rid of all my old stuff. There's no way I can carry all this out in time. Are you serious? Oh man, now I have nowhere else to go. Or maybe I do. Oh, am I really about to do this? My boss found out about this. He'd be so mad. It's so cold. I don't want to sleep outside. I have to do this. I don't have any other choice. All right, here's an all right room to stay. I just need to calm down. I need to keep my head up and I can get through this. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll go look for more places. Now I just, man, I really need some sleep. Did I hear something? Ah! Oh, 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 hey, Marvin, Marvin, it's just me. Jim, what are you doing here? I guess I can ask you the same thing. Boss is making me work overtime. Something about deflating some tires? What are you doing here? Are you working overtime too? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, he called me in. He caught me. I was just about to get to work. Oh, okay. Then why do you have that bag with you? I can't lie to you. I'm gonna be honest. My entire apartment building just shut down without any notice. Kicked me and a bunch of other people out. I didn't really have anywhere else to go. Whoa, how can they just do that? Man, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and if our boss Chris finds out, please don't tell him. Oh, uh, man, don't worry about it. I won't say a thing. Honestly, I hate that guy. He's making me work overtime and he's 
not even paying me for it. I'm so sick of that. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. All he cares about is his wallet. That's not okay. Well, Jim, I hate to say it, but we're stuck working here. I don't know about you, but I don't think I can get a job anywhere else. Yeah, I know. It just sucks. I mean, I feel like I'm like most people. One day, I just, I want to be rich. I, I need to be. Being rich? Guys like us? Doesn't really happen. Who knows? Anything's possible if you put your mind to it, Marvin. But as long as we're working here, it feels like we're at a dead end. Yeah, sometimes it definitely feels like it. Well, I gotta get to work. And who knows? Maybe I don't want to be at a dead end anymore. You piece of trash! What are you doing? Uh, boss, uh... Yeah, yeah, good morning! What are you doing here past work hours? I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a home. I got kicked out yesterday. So you thought you could use my business to crash at? And more importantly, you thought I actually cared? Look, I, I know I messed up and I shouldn't have come here, but you should still treat me with a little bit of respect. You don't deserve respect. Guys like you with absolutely nothing get nothing. Yeah, we don't get nothing because you don't pay us enough. You don't even treat us like regular people. You know what? I quit. Uh, I'm sorry. What did you just say to me? You heard what I said. I quit. I don't want to work for you. You're a horrible person. And you don't deserve anything that you have. Where do you think you're going, huh? You can't quit on me. You've treated everyone around you poorly since the day I've met you. You yell at customers. You cheat them out of money. All you care about is money. I've had it. I'm going to make my own business and I'm going to run it fairly. You think you have what it takes to run a business? You don't. You don't even have a home. Well, when I do run it, I'm going to run it way better than you are. I'm going to treat my workers with respect. Treat them like people. People that have lives, families, their own stories. They're not just workers. I'm not just a worker. And I'm done being yours. Jim! Jim, wait up! What is going on? I quit, Marvin. I'm out of here. What? Really? Are you okay? Yeah, surprisingly I am. I've never been better. Can't believe it. You actually had the guts to quit. Yeah, I know. I hate working here. I know all of us do. Yeah, it's the pits. But what are you gonna do? Either work here or quit. So what are you gonna do now? Well, I wanna go. I wanna go and make my own company. I wanna be successful. And you know what, Marvin? You should come with me. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. I mean, just talking to you these past couple days, it opened up my eyes. I don't want to work here forever. This isn't our lives. This world has so much more to offer for the both of us. We just have to work for it. Yeah, 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 that's great. Hold that thought. Marvin, uh, okay. I'm doing this for you, mom and dad. I want to show you guys I can be successful. I'm going to make you guys proud. All right, we really have to get out of here, like, right now. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I just quit, and Chris is really mad. Oh my gosh, really? Uh, okay, yeah, let's go. All right, and here we go. Well, there's not really a whole lot of space, but I guess it's somewhere to start, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, all of us has to start somewhere. Take a look at this. What is this? It looks like a building? Yeah, I did some looking around. It's small, but we might be able to apply for it. I mean, what's the hurt in trying, right? I think that's a great idea. Yeah, this place looks perfect to start our business. I already called and we're gonna meet the landlord later. All right, sounds perfect. This place looks uh, different than the picture. Oh, is it? No, that's, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, you already applied and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, we did apply. All right, great. Well, hey, guess what? You got the place. Pleasure doing business with you guys. All right, well, Marvin, I guess we got the place. Yeah, the little elbow grease. This place could actually clean up pretty nice. All right, yeah, well, here's the keys. All right, you take it. You got to unlock the door. When you open it, just, just use a little bit of force because it doesn't open at first, all right? Okay, and be careful about opening it too strong because the hinges will break loose. Anyway, yep, yeah, good luck, guys. The rent is due at the end of the month. Man, this place looks like a dump. Let's see what we got going on. Anything in here? Anything in here? Ah, no, there's nothing in here. What about over here? Ah, nothing. What is this place? That's trash! Place looks like a dump. Looks perfect. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, what are you doing in there? Why do you care? Because I own this building. What are you doing? Ah, oh, that makes sense. This place is stupid. You had nothing in there. Ugh, wasting my time, stupid loser. Oh, man, look at it. It's completely trashed. 
Are you serious? Did I give this place to you for one day and it's already like this? I mean, to be fair, it's not that much worse than what you gave us. What did you say? And plus, it wasn't us. Some guy last night broke in because there wasn't any security here to begin with. The lock on some of these windows is literally some duct tape. Hey, that duct tape is extra grip, okay? Look, I can't have this. You guys cannot have this building. What? Yeah, yeah, you heard me. Now I gotta go sell it to this other guy. He's gonna show up in an hour. See ya. Oh man, Marvin, did you hear any of that? No, how did it go? I can tell by the look on your face, probably not too well. Exactly, he, he took it from us. What do you mean he took it from us? He's kicking us out already. Look, this area really sucks, Marvin. I mean, we have it for one night and already someone's breaking in? Yeah, this isn't the best area, but it's the cheapest. We can't really afford anywhere else. I don't think we have a choice. Like we said before, if you want to make something out of ourselves, we have to try, even if that means going against all odds. So what do we do now? I think the only smart move here is to go into a better area. I think we should go in the city. Hey, wait, can we make a stop here real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. What's going on? I'll be right back. Wow. I mean, my entire life was in this area. Ever since I was a kid with my parents and nothing's ever really worked out for me. This is the first huge step I'm finally gonna take. It's kind of scary, but I know what I have to do. And I think I know that I have what it takes. Jim, are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm more ready than I'll ever be. Well, let's go. All right, let's head out. We've got a long drive if we're gonna make it to the city. What is that? Who's at the door? Oh, yeah, you come in. Tenant number 465, where is the rent? Rent? What do you mean? It hasn't been a full month. We've only been here for two weeks. Yeah, well, I'm the building owner here, and I know when the rent is due, and the rent is due two days ago. Where is it? Well, if I'm being honest, we just kind of moved into the city, and we haven't had much luck finding our jobs yet, and... Where, where, where? Looks like you're good at crying. Why don't you find a job doing that? Listen, sir, is there any way we can get just like another week? We'll be getting jobs soon. As soon as we have the money, we'll pay you. Fine. You have until the end of the week to get me my money or else you're on the streets. All right, Jim, we got to find a job in fast. Yeah, seriously, we need to find one today. We haven't had much luck lately, but we got to keep our heads up. We can do this, right? Yeah, we totally can do it. Just stay confident, all right? I think we should probably split up, cover more ground. I will literally never hire you guys ever. Absolutely not. Get out of my face. I swear, you step into my building again, I'm gonna get my broom and swing it. Today hasn't been lucky at all. Come on, this is the last one on the list. Hey, what do you want? Um, hey, I was just trying to see if you guys are hiring. Me and my one friend really need a job. Yeah, and why should I hire you? Uh, well, we're hard workers and we'll do what we need to to get the job done. We used to work at a car body shop before we moved out. Car body shop? Well, that simply means that you're overqualified. You're hired. Wait, what, really? Yeah, I mean, if you really want to work here out of all places, then whatever, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You start tomorrow, 9 o'clock a.m. Don't be late. All right. Let's go see if we can get some kind of loan. That way we have somewhere to start. Yeah, I think that plus our work payments, we'll get it in no time. Hi, welcome to the city bank. How can I help you? Hi, uh, sir. I was wondering if we can possibly apply for a loan. Do you guys have an existing account with us? No, not yet, but we probably want to make one. Do you have to have money to open up an account here? We really don't have a whole lot. So you're coming into the bank asking for a loan and you don't have any money? Yeah, that's kind of why we need the loan. You guys are jokes. Wait, what? Come back when you guys have money. Well, that was a bust. Yeah, I can't really get much worse than that. Well, if it isn't the two biggest pieces of trash I've ever met in my life. I spoke too soon. What do you want, Chris? I took myself on a little staycation of the city. It's none of your business. What are you two doing in a bank? You guys don't have any money. Well, Chris, we just had a meeting with a very big board member here at the bank, and we're trying to start our business. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Here in the city? Yeah, I know we're aiming big, but I think we can do it. You guys have no chance lasting in the big city. It's gonna chew you up and spit you out. I mean, if you're lasting in it, then I think we'll be fine. Honestly, give up, losers. There's no way you're gonna open a business here. It's not happening. All right, Jim, it's our first shift. We can't mess this up. We need the money to pay for rent. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go check the shelves, make sure everything's stocked correctly. 
Hey, you. Hi, sir. How can I help you? I want all your money, all right? Give me everything that you got. Uh, sir, if if you don't leave, I'm, I'm going to have to call the cops. Well, I need the money, all right? I'm not afraid to hurt you. Hey, stop right there. Well, there's two idiots I got to deal with now. You're not getting away with this. Yeah, whatever. I'm out of here. No, no, you're not. <laughs> Marvin, call the cops right now. Did someone seriously try to rob this entire place? Yeah, yeah, they did. But don't worry, we stopped him. Wow, uh, I'm really grateful. Th thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Like I said, it's our jobs. This is what we have to do sometimes. Yeah, but it's still nice to see some people that care. Look, because of this, I'm going to get both you guys a big bonus. Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah, yeah, I mean it. No, I think the police are here. I got to go talk to them. Thank you so much, sir. Did I just hear that correctly? Yeah, he gave us a bonus each for stopping that guy. You know what that means, right? We can probably pay rent. And more importantly, we can start our business. Oh, that dinner was so good. I haven't eaten food like that in years. It was incredible. Whoa, wait a second. Jim, is that you? Uh, Luke? It's been like 10 years since the flood. Yeah, you're right. How have you been? I've been pretty busy, you know, putting myself back together after everything that happened. So what have you been doing? You know, I'm just still out here trying to make a living for myself. Yeah, well, it's tough. Building yourself up from nothing takes a lot of hard work. Yeah, well, Jim's not going to be nothing for too long. We're actually going to start a business and he's going to be a billionaire. Oh, really? That's sick. Well, I've got to run off to work. Good luck with anything, Jim. It was nice to see you. Yeah, you too. It was good catching up. Jim, what are we doing at the graveyard? Well, talking to Luke, I don't know. Just made me think. I haven't been here in 10 years. These are my parents' graves. You miss them a lot, don't you? You've been kind of down the entire day. Yeah, man, I don't know. I just still wish they were here. I want them to be here with me. I want them to see all the progress that we're making, and they, they can't. They are seeing it, man, and I bet they're really proud of you. We've come a long way so far. We can't give up. Hey, excuse me? You again? Ugh. What do you want? You have money this time? I actually do, and I want to apply for that loan again. I'm not leaving until I get one this time. Well, what do you plan on using the money for? I need a good reason. I mean, like we said before, I want to start a business. If this bank would just give us a chance, then I want to achieve that goal. Well, we're putting an awful risk in you. You don't have a whole lot of money, and your credit score is abysmal. But here. Oh, wow, thank you so much. I won't let this bank down. Here it is, an actually good stable building in the city. Now we can finally do it and start this business up. Look at this dump. Ugh, it's trash. You seriously buy this place? Yeah, how did you find out? I got friends everywhere. They tell me things, like how some poor idiot bought a new auto body shop. Yeah, and I'm gonna run it way different than you ran yours. And the customers will see that. You're a nobody. You're starting off with nothing. Just look at this place. Heh, <laughs> it actually suits you. Poor and stupid. All right, whatever, man. If you don't think that I'm gonna succeed, then you could just leave. Stop wasting your time here. You know what? That's the first good idea you've ever had. Yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting my time here. You know, it took a whole lot of work, but I actually think this place looks pretty good. Yeah, I agree. We're going to get people coming in here in no time. Looks like no one has come in yet. Well, I mean, it's our first day. These things take time, right? Yeah, no, you're right. But if we don't start making money soon, then there's not going to be a shop for us to work at. Well, looks like our luck is changing. Look, someone's driving up. Um, hi, is this an auto body shop? I need someone to work on my car. Yeah, yeah, this this is a shop. And what's what seems to be wrong with your car? Well, I went to a shop on the outside of town and the guy was really mean. I think he actually put a dent in my car. See, right there. Oh, don't worry. With here, we'll get all that fixed up in no time, all right? Well, really? You guys are a whole lot nicer than that other guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, looks like they have a new business, huh? I'm not letting them get away with catching me this time. Well, 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 look who it is. Oh, oh, uh, it's you. 
Yeah, it's me, the guy that you turned in. I had to turn you in. What you were doing wasn't right. You don't have to do this. Yeah, well, it's all your fault. And now you are going to regret it unless you give me everything you got. Look, please, we could talk about this. No, and you don't have anyone here to help you this time. Uh, here, just, just take it, all right? Just go. I'll go, and you're never going to get your stuff back again. Hey, Jim, I just finished up with Steve's car, and what's going on? That criminal from the gas station just came in, and he stole everything from us. Hi, uh, I'm back. Yeah, I guess you are. What can I do for you? I just thought I'd share you guys some bad news that we ran into. The money you gave us, some guy, he, he broke in and, and he stole all of it from us. That's what you get for opening a business in the bad part of town. Well, I mean, is there anything that you can do to help me? Is there any way we can get the money back? No, you don't have insurance on the money or anything. We gave you the loan and that was it. Not my fault someone stole it. The answer that I was expecting. All right, thanks anyways. What am I going to do? How am I going to get all this back? There's no way we're going to be able to keep everything running now. Oh, uh, hey, you're here. Hey, Jim. I just wanted to come by and say thank you so much for taking care of me earlier. The car looks great. It's running like it's brand new. I'm glad the car is looking better for you. We worked really hard on it. And, um, I've got some pretty good news. Good news? I can definitely use some. Well, um, I have a really good friend at the police department, and, and I put the word out on that guy that stole your money. And guess what? They found him! Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Luckily, he didn't spend any of your money yet, and they got it back. Here it is! Oh, thank you so much. This means the world to me. You're a really good person, Steve. Well, so are you, Jim. I've been telling everybody about the body shop. You should be expecting new customers any day now. Do you see that, Marvin? Yeah, it's a whole line of people just waiting for our body shop. I think we've done it, man. I think we've really done it. All this hard work, it paid off. Well, looks like we got a busy day ahead of us and maybe a couple more coming up too. This is kind of exciting told you we just needed to put in enough work and we would get there eventually now come on let's get to work what do you mean we got no appointments today our day was booked yesterday uh yeah sir apparently there's a new shop in town and ah, that fool jim he stole my customers from me oh he's gonna regret this one way or another i'm gonna make sure he regrets it So, what's the update? Well, unfortunately, we missed the last payment of our business loan. That's not good. Now they're gonna start charging us with late fees. I mean, we almost have it all to pay it back, but I mean, you know, business has been slow. Yeah, and I don't really get why. We started off with a bang. We were so busy. Now it's like no one's coming in. Yeah, I agree. I don't understand either. Where did they all go? Well, maybe we need to start thinking about ways to get our shop going again. Should we do like some kind of sale or promotion or something? I don't know, but we need to find a solution. Oh, look, there's a customer right there. And they're driving away. Yeah, no, that wasn't a customer. Don't worry, Marvin. I'm sure we'll figure this out. Ah, look at this place. Business is booming. Ha ha ha. Hi, um, I'm here to drop off my car for my appointment. Oh, yeah, Steve. Yeah, nice to see you, my old friend. Well, your place looked really busy. Yeah, you know, customers all over the place. They gotta come over. They gotta see me fix their cars. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of sad that Jim and Marvin closed their shop. You did say they closed, right? Yeah, such a tragedy. That place was looking so promising. But don't worry, my shop will always be here to help my loyal customers. Why don't you go help yourself to some new complimentary coffee in the break room? Oh, that sounds nice. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, stupid idiot. <laughs> uh, hey, sir, we need to order some more supplies. What are you talking about? We put an order in last week. Yeah, but we've been so busy and, and, and all the new customers, uh, uh, we went through it all. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's almost too easy. I'm so glad that we got that extension. Oh, uh, hey, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't mind me. I'm just here. Are you okay? Oh, I could really use some help right now. Do you have any spare change? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, here. I wish I can give you more. Why are you out here? Shouldn't be on the cold like this. Well, my family and I live out here. We don't have a whole lot of money, but this really helps. We might be able to buy some food or something. I know what it's like to not have money. Trust me, I've been there. Me and my family have. But I mean, you're being a good person. You're trying to help out. And that's all that matters. Wait a second. You were like me? But looks like you've got a whole lot of money. Yeah, it's because I really worked for it. I set my mind to it and put it to the test. And, and it brought me here. Wow, that must be nice. Yeah, and hey, you know what? If you really need it, do you want a job? A job? Do I ever? Yes! Awesome, I'm glad to hear. Uh, Listen, it's that one body shop just around the corner, okay? Be there at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll be there at 8.50. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Zach, by the way. Well, it's good to meet you, Zach. My name's Jim. I'll see you in the morning, all right? Yeah, and that's all it takes to work here. I mean, pretty simple, right? Well, it seems a little tough, but I think I can do it. Look, the car is coming in right now. Hey, I just saw that there's a body shop here and I really need my car fixed. Oh my gosh, yeah, I mean, you're like a famous celebrity, right? The name's Lincoln. Do I even need to say my last? No, 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 no. Yeah, I know exactly who you are. I mean, all of Roblox does. Look, I'm not here to chit chat, all right? Can you fix my car or not? Yeah, of course, we can definitely fix it. Yeah, you don't mind if I live stream this, right? I mean, look, I got all these people here watching. Uh, no, I mean, I don't really care. Oh my gosh, am I gonna be on Lincoln's live stream? This is incredible! What's going on, all my followers? Yeah, look at guys, I'm at this car dealership right now. Fed it, random car dealership. They're about to fix my car, guys. Once in a lifetime opportunity watching this. Say hi to my fans, guys. Uh, hi, guys. Hi! Yeah, stream. These guys are gonna fix my car. It's gonna be awesome. You guys should totally come here if you need your car fixed. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my good friend Shane Plays out there. Remember that. Wow, thanks so much. That means a lot. I mean, I know a lot of people watch those live streams. Yeah, man, it's whatever. It's like my life, you know? Anyway, I need my car done ASAP. I got important places to be. Yeah, of course, we'll get that done you right away. All right, well, we should get started then, Zach, immediately. Yeah, I'll get started. Hey, 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 uh, Jim, right? Uh, yeah, you were my old landlord for that one building, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, that, that's me. Uh, are you guys hiring? Why are you asking? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, you know, one bad sale after another can really turn someone's life around, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, well, uh, because of it, I don't want to be on the streets, and I uh, was uh, kind of wondering, can I have a job? You want a, a job? You you want to work for, for me? Yeah, I mean, I've sold a lot of great buildings, you know, I, I'm really good at uh, uh, personal skills. Uh, look, as much as I want to help, we just hired someone, and I don't think that we make enough to get another employee on board. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, we'll give you a call when the spot opens up. I mean, I'm sure that'll happen any day. Nah, nah, this is a waste of time. I can't believe this. Why does this keep happening to me? That was weird. Uh, hi, uh, sir. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? I'm the boss. Uh, I just wanted to ask, what do you want me to do around here? We've been kind of slow the last couple days. What do you mean, we're slow? You're ridiculous. Business has been booming. No one's been coming to the shop in the last couple days. I saw a Lincoln's live stream. He, he's a famous celebrity. I'm a huge fan. And it looks like all of them went across town to that one body shop he went to. Oh, and what body shop is this, huh? Dumb and Dumber Auto? Who is it? It was that one, uh, uh Tim and Harvey. The, the, their shop. Tim and Harvey? What a couple of clowns. Wait, Tim and Harvey? Do you... Do you mean Jim and Marvin? Uh, yeah. Ah, I can't stand it. Why don't you go make yourself useful, huh? I spilled some oil 20 minutes ago on the ground. Go clean it up. Uh, yeah, uh, right away, boss. Ugh, I can't believe this is happening again. I'll fix it, though. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, am I gonna fix this? Oh, Jim and Marvin, my old friends. Look at your shop, it's looking nice. <laughs> oh, and what's this? This is that celebrity's fancy car, huh? Would be a shame if it met this crowbar. Oops! Oh no! The car hit the crowbar! <laughs> yeah, good luck getting through this one, idiots. 
Oh, hey, you're here early. We were just about to open shop. Ja, I, I don't care about that, all right? I just want to see my car. It should be done by now, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, we got it done last night. Here, I'll show you it. Uh, no, no, that, that can't be right. Dude, what is this? Are you serious? I gave you shout out and everything, man. And you just, you just wrecked my car? Trust me, Lincoln. I closed the shop last night. It wasn't like this when I left. Shut up, you regular human. I'm gonna go take this to a better shop. And I'm gonna let every single one of my fans know to never come here. No, no, please, please don't. I, I don't know what happened, seriously. May maybe I can check the cameras. It's too late for that. You're already wasting my time. Everyone's gonna hear and you're never gonna get business again. I just saw our shop's ratings and it's the worst it's ever been. Oh no, Jim, this is not good. This can ruin our business. Yeah, seriously, I just, I really can't believe that happened to Lincoln's car. But something's up. Something has to have happened. I don't know what, but we need to figure that out. Oh wow, a uh, customer. They probably didn't see the review yet. Hey, uh, how can I help you? Oh, hi. Yeah, I just want to see if my car could get looked at. It's making a weird rattling noise. Yeah, no problem. We can take care of that right away. Actually, on second thought, I'd rather not. Wait, what? Come on. No, we can fix it. Don't worry about it. No, you see, I recognize this place. I was watching Lincoln's live stream, and he talked so much trash about you guys. This place is a dump. I'll take my car somewhere else. No, no, that was all just a misunderstanding. Sir, please wait. No. Are you serious? That's it. We've got to figure this out, Marvin. You know, something's fishy's going on, and I think I know exactly who's behind it. Uh, hi. How can I help you? I need to see Chris right now, please. Uh, I don't know about that. He doesn't like to be bothered around this hour. I need to speak to Chris, please. It's an emergency. Uh, whatever. Ah, if it isn't my good friend, Tim. Tim, my friend. <laughs> Stop messing with me, Chris. What's going on? Why are you doing what you're doing? I don't know what you're talking about, but I saw everything on the internet. Oh man, that guy Lincoln's car got beat up real bad at your shop, huh? Yeah, it did. And it's weird that you know about that. It's because you did it, didn't you? I, I didn't do it, but I might've known the crowbar that did. <laughs> I can't believe it. I knew you were behind this. You need to stop messing with my shop. This is my life, my business we're talking about here. And just because it's doing good doesn't mean that you need to throw it in the dirt. Well, it's where it belongs, just like you. I found you homeless and in the dirt and gave you a job and this is how you repay me? You treated me horribly. And this business, when I prove my innocence, is gonna make me into a billionaire. I'm gonna make all of this right and that is a promise. I need to figure out what I need to do. Oh, wow. Is that Lincoln? I need to go talk to him. Hey, uh, I need to talk to you. Dude, what did I tell you? Just get away from me. Okay, fine. Look, I'll leave. I just want to ask you one thing. Yeah, what is it, man? Do you have security cameras in your car at all? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm famous, dude. Just you asking that question is very insulting, and I want you to get out of my face. No, no, I, I ask because I want to prove to you that we didn't do this to your car. Keep talking. Look, I, I know you're very upset with your car and, and I want to make this right, but I think that you need to be mad at the right people for this. And I want to show you that it wasn't me. If you can just pull up the footage, we can look through it and, and I can show you. You know what? Fine. I got to ride on my phone on this security app. Look, no, go right there. Yeah, you see, it wasn't us. Well, yeah, well, who's that then? That's my old boss. His name's Chris. He owns the body shop across town. The one getting all that business now because he set me up. Can you send this to me? Yeah, you know what? This Chris guy, he just made a real enemy, dude. Mess it with my car. Yeah, I'll send this to you. I want to ruin his reputation. Thank you so much. And on top of that, I'm going to post it online so everyone can see the real jerk this guy is. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. You gotta take that video down off the internet right now. If you want to convince me to take that off the internet, then you better go talk to Lincoln, not me. You did this to yourself. Yeah, but this video is now scaring all my customers away. I'm gonna lose my business. And you should have thought of that before you mess with mine. You'll see. One day, I'll be back, and you'll remember the name, Chris. You'll remember. And me and my new security system will be waiting. Bye. Hey, thank you so much for that extension. Look, 
Business has been doing great lately, actually. So here's the deposit. And I threw in a little bit more just since we were late. Oh, wow. Actually paying your bills on time. Me and the bank, thank you. I mean, just take this money and I will apply it to your account. Yeah, and then I'll be on my way. Thank you so much again. Yeah, no problem. Let me just see here. Oh my, wow. Um, This is a lot of money. What, really? Yeah, it's over a billion dollars. You're, you're a billionaire. 